Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live like debt free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome, and if it's not, welcome back. I am really pleased to see you. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, click that subscribe button below me, then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. It only takes a second, doesn't cost you anything, and it means you never miss out. Well, folks, I'm away, just in case you missed that little announcement or you haven't quite noticed. So I've recorded um, this week's live and set it as a premiere, which is sort of a live. So if I do happen to have internet access, and it's not likely, but I can hope I can join in the conversation. Food security is a big thing, especially to me. My security blanket is my pantry. When it's full, when I know that no matter what happens, I can feed my family and we can have healthy, tasty meals, then I can cope with just about anything that comes my way. So over the last few years, I've been moving away from relying on the freezer for long-term food storage but there are some things that just keep better in the freezer. And there's times when freezing is just the best option to get food preserved quickly. So I still freeze a lot of our food for our food security. Right now, all three freezers are full, even though I've been canning and dehydrating like crazy to make room for the spring and then summer garden harvest. It is what it is. I've run out of jars for canning and the dehydrators can only hold so much and they do of course take a while to process each batch of whatever. Then there's the things that simply don't dehydrate. So they have to go into the freezer. Meat and chicken are probably the first things you think of when you think of freezing food and food security. Sort of the things that popped into my mind and that just makes sense. So I vacuum seal them in, in meal portions and it keeps in the freezer for years without any risk of freezer burn. Now, freezer burn is the most common cause of frozen food deteriorating over time. It happens when the food in the container is exposed to frozen air and ice crystals form on it. And, well, that's the simple version. There is a longer, much more technical and scientific explanation, but pretty much that's it. The container or bag still holds air and it freezes and crystallises and gives the food a frostbitten appearance. It burns the food, the surface of the food. Now, it's still perfectly safe to eat. It may not be too appetising, though. It, it looks ugly and you know, it's probably a bit dry and chewy, depending on what it is. But it's still perfectly safe to eat. So if push came to shove, you could eat it. Now, to prevent freezer burn, you need to remove all the air, all the oxygen in the container or bag and make sure it is airtight before freezing it. And that's why I vacuum seal things for the freezer. Um, I have some pump containers that vacuum seal as well, but mostly I use my food saver vacuum sealer. Now, chicken and mince are the usual meat contents in our freezer. And I really try to keep about three months supply of each on hand. Swings and roundabouts though, because it depends when it comes on sale as to how much we have. I'm always looking for a good meat or chicken sale. And right now, I'm buying mints for $9.99 a kilo from Costco. It's great mints. I absolutely astounded. It's really good mints. And that's the cheapest for good quality beef mints I've been able to find for months. Um, then there's vegetables, things like corn, peas, beans, celery. Yes, it does freeze it doesn't thaw so you can eat it but it freezes and you can use it in cooking carrots onions um, potato sweet potato pumpkin again it doesn't thaw nicely but it's great for baking turnip parsnip um, tomatoes other staple veggies in our house and 
they are all good to freeze. So I do freeze them, usually in meal-sized portions, and I vacuum seal them for long-term food storage. Now, being able to freeze veggies until I have the time to can or bottle or dehydrate them is a huge blessing and it's a huge money saver and it you know, ensures we have good food security. Now, I don't need to worry about food spoiling if I can't preserve it any other way if I can put it in the freezer. And in the summer, when the garden is producing faster than we can eat it or I can preserve it, it is just so reassuring to know that I can freeze whatever until autumn or winter when the garden's slowed and I have more inside time to spend on canning or dehydrating. Berries are another food that I freeze, usually straight from the garden. Right now I'm watching the raspberries. The canes are so full of little berries and I've covered them with netting to keep the birds off because the slightest tints of red and they just devour those raspberries. And I want them for jam and I want them for sauce and I want to eat them. So um, I've been picking them each morning and afternoon and washing them and draining them until they're dry and then putting them into one of my vacuum seal containers and putting it in the freezer. Now we're away, I've given that job over to the boys to do. <laughs> so hopefully they're doing it. And then, you know, when come February, when the apple tree is loaded, I'll be doing the same thing with the apples. I'll be picking them as soon as they turn red because those birds just love them. Then I use my slinky to peel, core and slice them all in one go. Such a time saver. Uh, some will be dehydrated, some will be turned into apple sauce and canned and some will be stewed for pies and crumbles in winter and then frozen as stewed apple. But until I have time to do that, I can just put them in bags, vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer. Now another way the freezer gives us food security is in the ability to cook in bulk and freeze in meal-sized portions or even single portions for the future. It's a bit of a no-brainer and most of us probably already do that. But cooking once and eating twice or even more depending on how big a batch of whatever you make, it, it saves you money, it saves you time, it certainly saves you energy and it fills the freezer. It fills the freezer with ready to heat meals. And having ready to heat meals in the freezer removes the need for takeaway or getting something delivered or eating out. Because we all know, don't we, just how much those options cost and what a dent they can put in our budget. So building a stash of freezer meals is another way of, re of um, using a freezer for food security. So look, there are plenty of options and ways to use your freezer and I like options. They improve our food security and food security is important to me, to my family, to our grocery budget, just as I think it would be to, to you and your family and your grocery budget. And the more options we have for preserving food, the less waste we have and the less money is spent. And that's really good for the environment and for our bank balances. So using the freezer for food security, well, it just makes sense, doesn't it? If you're a cheap skater, it just makes sense. And freezing is the easiest way to preserve food for the long term. With such a variety of foods being able to be successfully frozen, if you want food security, think about how you use your freezer. Now, this is just my opinion, because you all know I have very strong opinions. But over the years, having food in the freezer has saved us thousands and thousands of dollars. And it has made life so much easier for me, if not for the rest of the family. So do you use your freezer to its full potential? Does it help with your personal food security? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. I read all the comments and I try to answer all your questions. So before I go, please remember to like, subscribe and share. These three simple things only take a couple of seconds. 
but make a big difference to our channel and how YouTube views it. And of course, it helps make it easier to find. And the easier it is for people to find us, the easier it is for us to let everyone know that it is absolutely possible to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, even in this crazy world. Have a great week, everyone, and happy cheap skating. Hopefully, I will be back live next week.